The Common Core State Standards Initiative, also known simply as Common Core, has been making headline news quite a bit recently. I am here to let parents know that although Common Core is an ambitious attempt at educational reform, it has some serious concerns. Common Core is an initiative that seeks to establish national standards for education in language arts and mathematics. The goal is to improve the United States' competitive status globally, as recent studies have shown disappointing results for American school children when compared to their peers in other countries. By setting universal standards, the argument goes, American children will be better prepared for college and the global job market. Forty-four states have signed on board with the Common Core initiative with five states, Alaska, Texas, Nebraska, Indiana, and Virginia, opting not to participate and instead establishing their own standards. Minnesota has adopted the language arts component, but not the one in math. Two additional states, Missouri and North Carolina, may soon join the list of non-participants, pending votes in those states' legislatures. Common Core seeks to meet its student improvement goals by imposing mandated standards. Students must prove that they have met these standards by taking standardized tests. Teachers, who had already conformed to standards and spent much of their time preparing their students for standardized state tests, must now focus on tests even more. Not only do standardized tests put more stress on students, little evidence shows that standardization leads to better student results. Moreover, standardized tests often do not allow for differences in individual learning styles. Students for whom English is not their first language may struggle understanding the test questions. Perhaps even more troubling is how Common Core does not focus on issues of poverty. Currently, 23% of U.S. school children live below the poverty line. If we were to remove this 23% from the educational ranking data, the United States would compete quite favorably with other countries meaning that educational improvements and financial resources are needed for these at-risk children. Instead of targeting schools with large percentages of at-risk students, however, Common Core presents a one-fits-all solution to education, as if all children share a common background and starting point. Let me make one thing clear. Nobody is against standards, nor is anybody against testing when used appropriately to measure outcomes. What I am suggesting, however, is that Common Core is not ready for prime time. So I urge parents to stand in common support against Common Core. <laughs>